Hey tubers, me again. This one's a little bit different. Let me take you off the stand here. This is the biggest generator I've ever worked on personally. This is a uh, Generac 10,000 Extended Life. I can imagine that's what EXL stands for, Extended Life. 19 horsepower Generac overhead valve. I don't know what I means. Engine it does have a on off or a run switch. It's in the off position. Uh, idle control. Not sure what that's all about. It's got a ton of. What do we got here? 240 volts AC. 120, 240. And then a whole bunch of 120s. And they all have independent, independent circuit breakers. It's a two-cylinder. It's got a oil filter out there. I'm assuming that that right there is almost looks like a solenoid, doesn't it, boys? Let's turn the light on. Uh, maybe that's for like pressure or temperature, temperature gauge. I don't know. Just looking in here. That's kind of weird. See the valve covers? How they're secured with actual nuts instead of bolts around? Uh, choke? Yes. Yep. What else? So, 19 horsepower, GN570. Looks like something that you would see on a, a lawn tractor or something. It does have a push button start. There is no battery that goes to it. Uh, I'm just going to put some spray down the carb and see if I can get it to lick off. But for sure... I'm looking at the oil. The oil looks really good, but it's a little bit high on the stick. Let's see if we can get it to focus. There's a little bit high on the stick. So two things. There's zero gas in it. Bone dry, which is good. It's plastic. I don't have to deal with any metal or rust or anything like that. So the two things with the oil. If there was a problem with the fuel, if it went down inside, but I don't smell any gas on the stick, so I'm not looking for trouble. Let's see, there's the gas shut off. And it appears to be in the off position down under there. So that's good. Everything looks good. Um, I'm going get to get you set up. And we are uh, going to put some carb spray down there and give it a pull and see what we come up with. Be right back. Pull start. So we're hoping it has spark. Let's see what happens. And generators generally run, you know, real fast. So we'll see what happens here. Nothing. Okay, 
give up that easy. Try it again. It pulls over really, really easy. So I don't know what that could mean. Okay. Wait a minute. I didn't turn that switch on. Let's try it again. We were just priming it. Well, well, well. All right. So we're going to have to go from the, it does run, obviously. <clears throat> we don't know if it makes power. But we got to get it to run consistent. So, uh, probably just going to take and disconnect the fuel line. And make sure that it's not all gummed up and everything. Who knows? I mean, I, I know that it was bought at an auction. It doesn't look beat. Maybe it was just an asset that got forfeited and we're actually going to walk into an easy one. I don't know. But I'm going to get that oil out of it so we can take and run it. Take a little bit out. Okay, so I lost a little footage. But here, just to get you caught up. This is the oil that brought it down to the proper level. That's how much it was overfilled. Um, it looks more chocolatey then then it really is where is that crazy reflection coming from oh i know that's my ceiling fan anyways uh there's no it's not like it's all full of gas let's see if we can do this without making a mess there's no gas in the bottom but it is thinned out Obviously, we're going to replace it anyways, but I got it down to the level to where I can take and run it. Uh, it's a hassle. I don't even know what this thing is. I would imagine that it's got a, It's probably something to do with the electronics and a governor, some kind of whatever. It's got a little wire that comes out over here, goes down to here. Yeah. I'm just guessing it's something like that. And if you don't know what it is, don't mess with it. That's my my thought. So anyways, I am just, uh, I tried to put a little bit of gas in just to see like, hey, did we get lucky? No. So this thing is all varnished up. I took out the float. I can't even tell you. This is the float. Here's the top of the carb. There's, there's the needle. The gasket came out, still in great shape. I'm gonna reuse that. So, basically, what I'm gonna do is like, I'm just gonna hit. Here's a main. There's a main jet adjustment. So like, fuel will come up into here, gets picked up. I'm assuming that's the adjustment right there, and then right down in there is where the actual. Uh, what do you call it? Like where it gets misted. So I'm going to shoot carb spray through all the top here, get the varnish off, and then just deal with the bottom of the bowl. That would actually be the bottom of the bowl down there. And it's still liquidy. It's not tar. So hopefully it won't be too bad. We get this cleaned up and then put back together and then let's see what's up. Uh, we got a Replace some of the fuel line. The rest of it actually looks pretty good. So I'm not sure what happened to it. I want to replace all this. If I don't have that, that looks like a 3 8 diameter inside. I don't know that I have that. I know I have quarter, but anyways. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna clean it up, guys, and then we're gonna put it back together. Okay, I'll be right back. Hold on, you got a killer radio? And okay. So here we are. Turn the light on. Ugh. Go 
we're back. There we go. So now that looks a whole lot better. And yeah, it was pretty varnished up in there. So now this is here is I'll try to do it without shooting the camera. There's the for the fuel line in watch right dead center. I'll try to do it slow. That's got clear liquid coming through it. That's just carb spray all down in here. That's just carb spray. Uh, I'm feeling pretty confident that there's no loose pieces. Uh, if you shoot right in here, look at where it kind of looks like a jet on the bottom of like a Briggs. I'll try to do it slow. I don't want to shoot the camera. Do it out this way. It'll shoot the other way. Whoops, wait a minute. Sorry, sorry. See it? That's got clean coming through it. Uh, the only other thing I guess I got left to do is I'm sure there's a that jet right smack in the middle. I'm going to pull it, count it going in, pull it out. And then put it back in, assuming that it was still running right, you know, like when they parked it. Here's a, another, whoops, hold on. I just found my, right below that, right below this Welch plug, there's another little screw adjustment, but it has, but it has a limiter cap on it. And it was right there smack in the middle. So, you know. Clean that, clean that, and then throw it all back together. That's when you'll see it. I still don't know what this is. If somebody knows what this is over here, I think I need to take and pull that cover up there. It makes sense to me that this would be connected to the governor and that there would be some kind of a linkage down underneath the here, and then that would come back onto this, this throttle over here. So I think there's something underneath of there. No, that's what I'm going to go to. You'll see it all. Anyways. Okay, I forgot to show you this. So this is the top part of the carb. And then here's these jets. The same as like what you would see in a Briggs. That emulsion tube. That's what everybody would call it. There's the emulsion tube. So I've gone and I've cleaned those out. And it comes right into here. So I'm gonna, I'll just show you. We can. I got it. I got the tube from the carb spray stuck into this, into the gas line. I slid it over that piece and don't. Hopefully, you should see some nice clear jets right there. Some of it spraying out back over here by the can, but. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I'm going to take a push and put some air through that. Call that good. And then reassemble the carb. So here's the progression. First round of carb spray down inside, cleaning out the bowl. Pretty nasty. Getting better. Getting better. Getting better. Not too bad on the last one, so... I think what I'm going to do is, is like, I think because I can't really get that jet right there. Hold on. I can't really get that jet right there. So I'm just going to assume that there's going to be enough suction. that I'm going to take and put this, put the bowl and have a bunch of, I don't know, maybe a quarter of an inch of carb spray just laying in the bottom. And then so that'll be like the first stuff that it picks up that it, it'll try to clean itself. Unless you know of a better way, but I don't. That does not come out. That's just a plug in there. This one right here. So, all right, we'll give it a shot. I took these screws off, and it was right there. There is governor linkages and all that fun stuff back under there. But if you look up here, I know you're upside down. That there is no. There's no restriction on the governor and the throttle plate. So like I was saying before, it starts wide open. And then once it starts, 
the electronics will take and close down that butterfly inside to, to give it the, main, the speed that it needs. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it. Okay, we'll be back. So, you saw that it ran. I just hooked up my little IV here with gas. That's for it to run. It makes power, at least off of these two. I don't see any reason why it wouldn't work off the rest. But now is... When I tried to take and pull the fuel grommet out from... Sorry, I got this fan going. It's so smoky in here. From there, it just broke. Because there's a, what do you call it? There's a fuel filter that goes on the end of this. And you turn it off and on, blah, blah, blah. So, I'm going to get a new one of these. Like 10 bucks and 3 days or 4 days of waiting. Yeah. But, she's a runner. Does everything that it's supposed to do. Uh, so in the next three days while I'm waiting on that other part, I will uh, probably just give it an oil change. Check the plugs. See if, see if it needs any of that stuff. And we're going to call this one good. So in total, I don't know, three and a half hours of screwing around with everything. Get it all done. I think what he's doing nowadays is that he's just going to he's going to auctions, <laughs> and he's buying stuff, and he's bringing it over here and getting them getting them fixed on the cheap. Not, not a bad idea. Nothing wrong with that. So, all right, you guys. That's it. Generac. 13, oh, and I, when I look this up, uh, overhead valve, I don't know what that I was, but anyways, I thought this thing might be an inverter as well as a uh, generator, but evidently not, I don't know, anyways, okay, that's it, thanks for watching, that's it, I'm done, I'm out.